Imagine the situation. You're hanging out with your friends on a nice sunny day and you ask them, do you want to go to the bitch? You look at your friends. You expected smiling faces. However, they were deadly silent. They look at you confused and in shock at what you just said. Why are they upset? What did you do wrong this time? That's what we're going to look at in this video. My name is Stu Sensei. I'm a British English teacher with BritishPronunciation.com and I'm here to help you get better pronunciation for better communication. Let's get down into it. In this situation, it's your pronunciation that's a slight problem because actually the word that you wanted was beach. It's a bit different to bitch. Can you hear the difference? Let's go through it. Although they do have different meanings, there are a lot of similar sounds between the two words, apart from two. This i sound for bitch and this e sound for beach. So what are the differences? Let's work on the i sound first. This sound is used in words such as bit, hit, sit, that short i sound. For the i sound, your mouth should be slightly open with your tongue resting at the bottom of your mouth. After that, you want to raise your tongue up in a sharp movement so that it goes towards the roof of your mouth, but it's only for a short period of time. This allows a small bit of air to be able to escape through your mouth. This aids in creating the sound i, i, i. To make the sound, you just slightly open your mouth like this and then put your tongue at the bottom of the mouth. Then you're going to raise your tongue upwards in a short, sharp motion. I, I, I. As we said before, this sound is just a short sound. You probably notice it there. I. But how does it compare to this sound? E. I'm kind of overdoing it there when I say E. It's to show you the difference, really. I, E. We'll get into how it's used in natural speech very soon, but let's go over the technique first. For the E sound, the starting position is relatively similar. You're going to have your tongue flat in your mouth, and then you're going to have your mouth slightly wide open. But this time, when you push upwards towards the roof of the mouth, actually the back of the tongue kind of goes up like this and pushes quite hard, and it stays in place for a lot longer in comparison to the I sound. Also, your mouth will widen, almost like a smile. E. It will be quite short when you use it within words, but you'll still definitely see that difference being made with the mouth. This sound will be seen in beat, heat, seat. Let's compare the two sets of words together and see if you can hear a difference. Bit, beat, hit, heat, sit, seat. Can you sense a difference there? E, I, E, I. Little bit different, isn't it? Let's go over some other words to practice this sound difference, okay? The key things with these words like bit, hit, sit, and beat, heat, seat, is that the consonant sounds are exactly the same. The only thing we're changing is the vowel sound so you can see the difference. We're going to do the same with the upcoming words. So let's improve your pronunciation together. Let's do a practice. Repeat after me. Did, deed, feel, feel, fit. Feet, grin, green, is, ease, mitt, meet, slip, sleep, still, steal, his, he's, it, eat. Pro tip for improving these sounds, make sure you practice just a little bit every day. Remind your mind each day, this is the way these sounds should be made. There's a difference. They're not the same. A great idea is to practice this video each day and record yourself whilst you're doing it. That way, you can check yourself against my pronunciation. If this video was useful for you, here's another one that will make you sound more British for better pronunciation and better communication.